Hello everyone and welcome, welcome. I am Amy with Growing Your Faith and I wanted to kind of get together with y'all and let you know what we have going on for August. I'm going to try to do these every month. I think that um, maybe it'll help a little bit to just kind of explain what we have going on for the month. Some months there may be more going on, some months there may be less, but um, that way you kind of have somewhere to go that gives you all the information for the month. So um, that's what we are going to do today. So I am glad that you are here. I'm going to try to keep up with the comments as we're going. Um, I have a really hard time, like the phone is just that right distance from my face that everything is kind of blurry. Um, so I am going to see if I can open up the live in on my laptop as well. So that way, maybe I can see your comments as, as y'all comment and can respond to those. Um, wait. Oh, here we go. Big and turn off the volume. And okay, and so then the comments will show up there and I can see that better because it's bigger. I don't know, and not quite so close to my face. Okay, oh, okay. Okay, so again, I'm Amy. If you are new here and you have not met me yet, I am Amy with Growing Your Faith. And um, my goal and my desire for this group is for us to be a group of women who encourage each other to dig into God's word more, to spend time with him and to grow our faith and grow closer to the Father. Um, and so to do that, I like to create tools and different ways for you to spend time with him. So not all of those things are necessarily in the Bible, but they are all things that will draw you closer to him as you study and learn and um, spend just spend time with him. I mean, we can spend time with him doing anything, um, but we definitely need to be digging into his word. So the big thing for this year is our Acts study. So um, we are going through the entire book of Acts throughout this year. So we are about to start we're working on chapter 18 this week, um, and we are about to start chapter 19. So we've done all of the other ones um, so far. And by the end of the year, we will finish up the entire book. So for for me, I'm writing all of the scriptures that I'm sharing with y'all. But I've got some ideas of different ways that you can do it if you're not necessarily wanting to do exactly what I'm doing. So um in the group, I will have the scripture writing for you. It is all laid out. Um, each day has a set of verses and you can write those out. And this just keeps you on track. I actually write mine the whole week at once. That way I can study the whole thing um, all at one time rather than just studying a couple of verses at a time, if that makes sense. Um, and then you get more of the context too. Okay, so for me, what mine is kind of looking like, and this will be backwards probably, but um, so I'm writing the whole thing in this um, notebook that I created and I am marking key words and people and God and learning all about him. And then on the other page, I study. So sometimes this will be a um, verse study or it'll be a word study or it'll just be different things that I'm learning. This is, um, this is just kind of a collaboration of all of the things that I'm learning from that section. But here, like I went through Paul and the things that I learned about Paul and an application for that, and then Aquila and Priscilla, the things that we learned about them right here. So it'll look different on every page, but um, so this is how I'm doing it, and this is all of Acts so far. I love studying like this. I've done um, the book of Luke and Hebrews and James 
and um, I think part of Galatians, but I don't think I finished Galatians. Okay, so if this is too much for you right now, there's other things that you can do that are a little bit, or if you're just new to Bible studying, but Bible studying, and this seems too overwhelming for you, then um, then I have some other options for you. So you can do the soap method, and you can use um, some of the printables that I have for that. So you will write out the scripture, and maybe you only choose one out of the verses. So for instance, um, today's verses are verses one through four. Maybe you only choose verse two or verse three, or maybe you write out all of them and that's fine too. Um, so then you're going to write out your observations. You're going to learn what you can from the text and then you'll write that how and if it applies to you. Not all text is going to apply directly to us, um, especially parts that are just history. And that's okay. Um, the, the point is, to learn about God and um, to learn about the Bible and to learn about the people and the history and Jesus and what he did for us. And so when we can find application and make changes in our life, then that's very important and we need to do that. But not every single verse is going to apply to our life. And if we try to force application where application doesn't belong, then, then we wind up with some distortions. So after application comes prayer. And you can write out your prayer there. So this is another option. This is called the SOAP method. Um, some people call it the SOAP method. And then that the K is like kneeling in prayer. Um, this is a great method. I used this for a long, 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 long time, um, especially as a beginner um, Bible study person. <laughs> so um, this is another option. And then um, sometimes people just write the scripture and kind of decorate. So um, these are some pages that, uh-oh, losing stuff. These are some pages that I've done like that. So I just wrote the scripture and decorated the page and that's all I did. And that's fine too. Um, sometimes we just want to dig into God's word. Um, we just want to write and enjoy his word and that's fine. We can do that as well some more pages and these are really nice um to go back and look back through too it's also easy to take with you so if you're going to be on vacation or something like that just taking some stickers and a journal and your bible um is is super easy so this gets you into god's word it gets you writing his word which is it's just different um, when to write out the word of God rather than to just quickly read over it as you really soaking in those words in a different way. And so this is a really, really good option if you are new to this or if maybe you're already doing a Bible study, but you still want to participate. Um, this is a good option for you as well. Another thing that you can do is whoops, sorry. Another thing that you can do is take your scripture. And um, so we did Acts chapter 18 verses 1 through 21. That's what we'll be doing this week. So maybe you take those verses and you do one Bible journaling page for the whole week. Does that make sense? Or you can even do like one or two pages per chapter or something like that. Um, and then share those in the group. We would love to see that just as much as we love to see your study pages. Um, when we share in the group, it just kind of encourages each other to then, you know, dig in a little bit more, um, a little bit of accountability as well. So that's really good. So this is the August scripture writing. It is in the files section and the PNG is in the comments. So if you want the PNG rather than the PDF, you can check that out in the comments section. Okay, so... The other thing that we have that I'm like so excited about, um, I have a new kit up in Etsy. Okay, um, I've created a couple of kits there. If you have checked them out or if you have purchased, um, thank you so much. It means the world to me um, that that you have checked it, even just looked. And that's just awesome. Um, 
And if you have purchased, thank you. That helps support all of the things that I do here and on YouTube. It really helps to um, nothing that I'm doing. I get paid for except for the Etsy. And if you happen to purchase from some of the affiliates that I am affiliated with, um, and all of that really, really helps to um, give me the time and space to create for you. Um, so yeah, so the new kit is called Strawberry Summer and I have all the pages here to show you. I'm so excited about this kit. I worked really, really hard on this kit. Um, a, the majority of everything is hand drawn by me. There's a couple of other added in things that I pulled. Um, from the resources that allow you to do that um but it it's it was awesome <laughs> it took like two months to get this kit drawn and to get two or three months to get this kit drawn and completely together and so i asked um in the group if y'all would like um like strawberries or summer or some sort of a vintagey thing um, and it worked out to where this kit can be both. I should have grabbed the journaling cards to show you the journaling cards, but there'll be pictures in the group where you can see. Um, I, I made some journaling cards and just did some inking around the edges and everything. And they they really, really lend themselves well to a um, vintage look as well as just maybe you could ink around the edges in pink and purple or so, something like that. And they would look really cute like that too. So... Let's get into the kit. So first we have our monthly planner stickers. Okay, so we've got tons of labels over here. We've got some box stickers here, some little elements here, and then we've got all of the um, icons, your numbers, some more labels, some washi and arrows, and a couple of text boxes here. Um, so I've got all kinds of pictures up on Etsy where you can see how I've used these um, elements and stuff like that. And um, I will be posting pictures in the group over the next couple of days that will also show you those things as well. Okay, so after that, we have the Bible study stickers. And these are different because they give you all of these labels over here, which are specifically for Bible journaling. They also have some bigger journaling cards here where you can write notes and things like that on it. Some elements, some dots for like bullet points here, arrows, and then some of these little to do things where you can write like little lists and then some more washi tape and some cute little flags. Um, then we have just the elements for you. So here is a page of just elements. I've created a couple of stamps, a couple of collages, um, and then some lemons and this cute little guy right here. This ice cream cone took me forever to draw and get right <laughs> or get, get it the way I wanted it. I guess I should say, I don't know what the definition of a right is. And then a pretty little flower up here um, for you. Sorry, you can hear my dogs. I think the FedEx guy's here. Then I have some cute little post-it notes. So these, so here you have an ice cream cone post-it note, a strawberry post-it note, then just two regular ones here. I really like these. I think they're so stinking cute. Um, so there's those. And then we have five papers for you to use. And we're going to do a video with these um, later on in the month with these different, which you can use whatever paper you have. But um, so we got this pink stripe. Sorry, I already used part of it. <laughs> we got this pink striped one. I really, really like this one. And then we've got this green polka dotted one. And then this one might be hard to see, but it looks great antiqued with some ink. It is um, a light pink polka dot with a white background. And then I have no clue what this is, but I like it. Um, the pretty yellow and dark yellow. I thought it kind of matched the lemon. Um, so there's that one. And then this kind of vintagey looking strawberry one, which is with the strawberry that I hand drew, but just um, 
just black, not colored, um, with a pink background. This one looks really nice antiqued as well. So those are the um, the pieces, all the pieces that you will get with the kit. The kit is $8.99, but it is on sale right now for 25% off, and it will stay that way until, I believe, the 7th. Um, so you can get it for 25% off. Um, you get all of those PDFs, plus you get the PNGs to go with that as well. So if you are into the digital Bible studying, the digital journaling, all of those things, the PDFs or the PNGs are there for you, or you can print out these PDFs, or you can do both. <laughs> which is what I've done. Like I've been using them in both, both ways. So um, I have some Ephesians studies that I'm doing digitally that um, I used them for. And um, obviously I've used them in my physical uh, planner and I made the journaling cards as well, which could be scripture cards um, too. So, um, so that is the kit, but I have a surprise for you. I created a freebie for you out of these elements that I will put into the files section um, later. As soon as this video is over, I'll put it in the file section. So I gave you these the scripture references here, some washi, and then a bunch of different little elements from that kit. It will only be in the PDF form, um, but you do get the free PDF. So if you are doing scripture writing with us, then you can use this all month for the August scripture writing if you wanted to, or you can use it however you want to, but please share. I would love to see how you're using this free PDF. Um, it really makes my heart happy to see uh, the things that um, I give y'all being used. Um, I hope that doesn't sound bad. It just makes my heart happy. <laughs> I don't mean that in any kind of a bad way, but it just really, really makes my heart happy. Um, it makes me happy to see every single one of you digging into God's word and praying for each other and building each other up and sharing all of the um, the things that you are doing in God's word. Um, so yeah, so this is the freebie. It will be in the file section for you. And I would love, love, love to see what you create with it. Okay, so um we also have a lot of new videos coming up this month. We have um, the Bible journaling for complete beginners. We will have videos eight, nine, and 10, which will be on printing onto tracing paper, which um, I'm super excited about. I think I'm gonna use um, a, a, hey, Jessica, good morning, thank you. Um, I think I'm going to use a printable from Keys of the Kingdom because she has these beautiful margin um, printables and I saw a new one that she had up the other day and I think it will look beautiful on tracing paper so I've got a feeling that's what we're going to be doing for that then we're going to do one on word art and doodles because um it's a, using word art and hand doodles are a great way to bible journal and to bible journal on a budget um, without having to buy a whole lot of materials so um, and then using stickers, which is like my favorite. I use stickers all the time, especially in my Bible studying. Um, I don't put them as much in my Bible, um, unless you count like printables like these. If you count these as like stickers, then, you know, then I use these. But um, to actually purchase stickers and use stickers in my Bible, I don't do that a whole lot. Um, but I do use them a lot in my Bible study. Okay, so also I have a video that is already filmed and ready to be edited and come out, and it is the new Dayspring planner. This planner is so beautiful, and I have the perfect use for it, and I can't wait to show you that as well. But um, so I have the video for the Dayspring, just a look through to help you see it. It's an 18 month um, planner, and it is just absolutely beautiful. So we have that coming up and then um, Bible Journaling Ministries has their new kit out and this month is about prayer. So they also have a freebie for you. So I wanted to share that with you. This is their freebie for this month. You can get it free for just a couple of days um, and then it goes on sale in her shop. So this is um, one of the companies that I am an affiliate with. 
Um, the only way I get any money from anything from them is if you sign up for their momentum course. So if you take their 10 day free Bible journaling class, then they'll tell you all about momentum and that, and it's free. And then when you sign up for momentum, then I do get a little bit of money for that. Um, it's actually really, really great. They give you a lot, a lot of stuff, which I will show you in the video that I do for them. Um, but it's $25 a month. If you go through that course, it's only $15 a month. So that's well within your Bible journaling on a budget because you're well under $5 a week for that. Um, and there is, it's unlimited. There's unlimited printables and she does a really great job with her printables. She also has, if you've watched any of my past videos, they have, um, a traveler's notebook printable, um, they've got usually four to five pages of printables. And then she has a devotional and a calendar as well. Plus, she gives you lots and lots of videos on how to techniques and stuff like that. And all of that is included um, in the Momentum course. Plus, she usually puts out extra bonus um files and stuff like that, that you can get extra little kits um, that all come with the like four bucks, three and a half bucks a week if you take that 10 day free course. So I will put post a link in the description below. Like I said, I am an affiliate with them. So I will make a little bit of money off of that if you sign up for that course. But this freebie, I don't make anything off of this. This is just a freebie that she has that you can go grab. Um, I think when you sign up for her email list, um, or if you're part of her group, she may offer it in the group. I'm not really sure. Um, but she has some really, really great free printables for you to use as well. And then we are going to, I, I'm trying to decide if I want to do a series on this, but I have a background that I want to show you using the papers from the strawberry summer kits. Um, and it is a really cool background. You can then you can do it in your Bible. So I've got a couple of them in my Bible, but you can also um, cut it up and make journaling cards out of it or put them in, you know, something else in a junk journal or something like that. So we're going to do that as well. And then let me know what you think about doing like a background series. So like some cool background. So this is going to be like strips of paper that we're going to do, but you can also do like torn paper backgrounds. You can do um, backgrounds where you like write in the background and then partly cover it up but you write in this script where you can't really tell what it says but you know what it says which is really really cool because if you're making something for somebody like a card then you can put prayers on that page for them and um and they may not even know so say they're not a christian then it's a great way for them to have something in their hands that is your prayers to the father for them how wonderful would that be so those are some of the videos that are coming up this month. Um, there's also a um, soap freebie in the file section, I think, if you want that. Um, so another thing about the Axe study over the next month, what I'm going to try to do is to help for those who don't know how to do the inductive study but would like to learn. I'm not really sure yet how to set up an actual class for that. Um, I've been kind of mulling it over and trying to figure it out. But um, I think as I print or as I share my pages with you over the next month, I'm going to try really hard to explain what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, um, and how it helps you in your study, if that makes sense. So hopefully that'll help with um, showing you how to do the inductive study method um, and help you dig in a little bit more. And maybe you won't go like, as deep as I go and that's okay like if you're just starting out just writing the scripture and um, marking God and seeing what you can learn about him is the most important part so if that's all you're getting through then that's totally fine um okay challenge I think we are going to do a challenge this month well I know we're going to do a challenge this month so I thought it would be cool to have a back to school challenge. So it um, is gonna start on the 18th and run through the 27th. Um, we are going to create a Bible journaling page that has something to do with um, back to school. 
I think this is really good because I think it helps us to kind of think about things a little bit differently as far as using the Bible for all of the things, okay? So if you have scripture ideas for this, for this challenge, post those in the comment below. Um, these are things that like we can take through our day, no matter what we're doing. So maybe we personally aren't going back to school. I homeschool, so technically we are going back to school, but, um, or I am going back to school because I got to teach him. So um, if, if you, um, we need to be able to take the Bible and use it in our everyday life. So maybe you have children going back to school. So thinking about the different Bible verses that would help them through their days, that would encourage them and help them and um, just help them to keep their focus on God, or even just things that you can pray over them as they leave your home and go to school, or even thinking about it like school, as in like we have to go out into the world and learn and grow and um and how are we going to do that? And how can we bring God into all of that? God needs to permeate every area of our life. We should not be segregating. Oh, this is church time. This is Bible time. Now I'm going to go to work and work has nothing to do with God or my school day has nothing to do with God. Like that's not how our Christian life should be. And so I think that this challenge will kind of help us um, to think of that. I think of going back to school in this different perspective. How do we do that and take God with us? So 18th through the 27th, um, I'm going to create an album. Uh, I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of the albums and this is why I, they're great because they keep everything congregated into one place, but then your pictures aren't being shown in the feed, which I like to be able to see everybody's pictures in the feed. So you can post them in both places if you want to. That's fine with me. I don't, I don't mind if you um, post them in both places, but if you want to be um, in the drawing, then they do need to go in the album. That way I have them all in one place and can draw from there all of the names. So there will be two winners. I don't know exactly yet what I'm going to give away, but um, I've got a month to decide, so it'll be okay. So the winner will be drawn on the 28th and I will mail prizes out by the 31st. It's just going to be a drawing. Um, we're not going to like, yeah, it's just going to be drawing. So whoever participates, participates is going to be, their name is going to be put in for the drawing, if that makes sense. Okay. Um, I think that's it. So if, um, if you have any ideas, thoughts, or questions, you can post those in the comments down below. Um, if you have any ideas of other things that you would like to do, maybe for another challenge, something for September, that would be great. Like, I'm all for it. Like, give me ideas. <laughs> give me ideas. So um, maybe we will do yours for September, your idea, whatever your idea is. I like having challenges. I like mailing out happy mail. Um, and I um, definitely enjoy the, like, the challenge of doing something kind of outside of my comfort zone. I've never really created a back to school page. So, you know, okay. we'll do it and we'll see how it goes. Um, I think that's it. I think that's it. I hope that you all are enjoying the group. I, um, and I am so, so, so thrilled with all of the new members that we have over the last couple of months. We have grown exponentially. We are at over 2000 members in the group. Um, and that just thrills my heart. Only God, right? Only God. I'm, I'm nobody. <laughs> I'm nobody. But um, I really hope that you all can find the encouragement and love that you are searching for here and that we can all like pull together and really dig into God's word and um, draw closer to him and deepen our faith and grow our faith and grow our relationship with him. Um, if you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel, um, if you could go over there and like and subscribe to that, you will get notifications for all the videos that are coming up this month. I do also share them in the group, so you will see them there as well. Um, and I think that's it. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful, blessed day, and I will see you in the group.
拜。